Oh, good afternoon to you from uh, the English countryside. And uh, this afternoon I'm just taking a short while out while the sun is still up. And I've got a short bit of time just to be able to get on my bike and enjoy that beautiful air. Good afternoon from my favourite country church porch. I'd just like to share one verse with you uh, this afternoon from Psalm 70, and it's uh, verse 1. Make haste, O Lord, to deliver me. Make haste, O Lord, to help me. I may not have got the words completely in the right order, but that was from memory. But the words that really struck me this afternoon were make haste. And I don't know, maybe you can tell me in the comments, but I don't know of any other psalm or any other place in Scripture where we ask God to, to hurry up. Like, get a move on, Lord, I need help. And I think that that's quite pertinent, isn't it? Because we always talk about allowing God to, to work in our lives in his time. And we're taught to be patient. But here the psalmist, is, there's a desperation, isn't there, in him? Make haste, hurry up, Lord, please. I need help, I need it now, not tomorrow, not yesterday. I need it right now. And that's how God works in our hearts sometimes, isn't it? He stirs us up and he wants us to ask him to, to, to hurry up and, and move on our lives and do something fresh. Because sometimes there isn't an awful lot of time and as I've often said, as we see the world darkening, we need the Lord to, to hasten up growth in our lives. I spoke the other day about the pruning, the pruning process in John 15. And uh, I was fellowshipping with some brothers this morning, having a men's breakfast, and uh, one of the brothers had a word. And he spoke about the field, the hard earth of the field that the plough hadn't yet touched. He said, and suddenly the, the plough comes on the field and the earth starts to get broken up. It's the same principle, isn't it? And as the earth gets broken up, the earth doesn't want to be broken up. It's quite happy being fallow and still. But then the plough comes along and drives a furrow through it. And change is about to take place because seeds are about to be sown and growth is about to happen. And that's what God wants to do in our lives all the time. Sow fresh seeds, bring about new growth, bring about change in our lives. And sometimes it's needed in a hurry. So there's nothing wrong with saying, Lord, hurry up. It's in the Psalms. And it's a blessing, isn't it, to think that we can get alongside with the Lord and that he can work in us such a way in our relationship with him that we can be as honest as we can be and say, Lord, hurry up and save me. Hurry up and deliver me from this situation. I feel as I'm sinking. If you were um, about to drown and it wasn't, say, it wasn't salty water that was keeping you buoyant. I actually remember a, an experience I had um, swimming in the Sea of Galilee, which of course is a freshwater lake. And I'm not a very good swimmer and I just suddenly felt out of my depth and I just called to the Lord inside me, Lord, help me. And I found my feet again. But it was quite easy if um, I wasn't a, a very good swimmer, if I hadn't maybe called on the Lord, that maybe my feet not, wouldn't have found the ground that I was looking for. And sometimes we, we need to do that in our lives. We need to say, Lord, I need your help now. And we mustn't be afraid to ask for help. Sometimes I think we, uh, we say we trust in the Lord, but it isn't always trust in the Lord. Sometimes it's, it's working and leaning on our own understanding, doing things perhaps that, that are not in line with his will, and then we find we get frustrated. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Make haste to deliver me, O Lord. Sometimes it seems as though it will tarry, but in, in God's heart is the desire always to deliver us. Even though he sees us perhaps in a situation where we, we haven't properly um, seen it through. But God wants us to and he's, he's just holding on. But he, sometimes he wants us just to call out and say, help me. 
help me, Lord. And that's, of course, the shortest prayer, isn't it? When you think about it, it's the shortest prayer. Help me, O Lord. And he is faithful to help. He is faithful even though we don't feel him, we don't see him, we can't touch him, but he's there. So um, it's a really beautiful afternoon, blue sky, the smell of spring is in the air. And uh, I suppose we could say that at the moment in the UK that we're experiencing a, a respite really from difficulties if we consider what's going on in countries like the Sudan, the Ukraine and um, many parts of the world that are, are in turmoil. And we can be thankful in the Western world at this present moment for the relative peace that we have. Although we see the new world system appearing, coming over the horizon, but God is faithful and he requires of us only that we stay faithful to him we will endure to the end if we do that. We will be blessed and his joy will fill us. The word of God was spoken here and has been spoken here for hundreds of years. Um, yes, many of these churches have died around here and they've become couched in tradition. Yet God's word has gone out. And wherever his word has gone out, fruit has been born. And that's all he requires of us, is that we submit to him. Hold on tightly to him. Trust in his help. And when he does help, it's quality help. It's real help. Not the help that man can give because we know that he loves us so fully and he pours upon us an abundant rain of his love. So Lord, I just pray today for, for those who are listening that you will touch their lives and their hearts today, Lord, in a special way, whatever part of the world they're in, that at this very moment, if they're needing help, that they would call out to you. I pray, Lord, that anyone who's listening to this message and doesn't know you as their Lord and Savior, is not born again of water in the Spirit, that they would come to, to call, fall upon their knees, Lord, come to understand that they are sinners and that they need to come to repentance. And I would ask, actually, that if anybody has prayed that prayer, um, today that you would in the comments um, just put that you did uh, that you came to Jesus Christ through this video I don't know who it's going to reach excuse the aeroplane up there I don't know who's going to hear it once these videos go up they stay on for years maybe long after I'm gone so may the word not return to to, to, to you void Lord I know it doesn't but your word says so my word will not return to me void Somewhere it says, I think it's um, Ecclesiastes, I'm not quite sure. Cast your bread upon the waters and after many days you will find it again. The bread of life, the word of God. May it reach into your heart today. May it save your soul. And also if you've been touched today by listening to this, please tell me. It's good to know that the word of God is doing its work. Have a blessed afternoon.